In this video, we're gonna jump into Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve and experiment with 3D tracking and see how we can throw some text into a 3D scene. Let's jump in. So here we are inside DaVinci Resolve. We have a few clips in the timeline. I wanna open this one inside of Fusion, so go ahead and click on the clip and then click over to the Fusion tab. If you've never used Fusion before, this could look a little bit foreign to you. And that's because Fusion is a node-based compositing software compared to something like After Effects or Photoshop, which are layer-based. So what we have here is our media in, and this is our source footage coming in, and our media out, which is the final output back to the timeline. Everywhere in between these two points is where we do all of our compositing. Now, I don't completely have my hand wrapped around Fusion and all the way the nodes work, but I've been able to do a few steps and slowly learn some of the tools and techniques to do some basic compositing. So that's what I'm gonna teach you in this video. One basic thing to note is that any node, if you click on it, there's these two little dots on the lower left side of the node. And you can click one or two on your keyboard and it will display on one of these two windows. One on the left, two on the right. So the first thing that we're gonna do is perform a 3D camera track. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and hit shift spacebar and this dialog window will pop up. And we'll go ahead and search tracker and select the camera tracker and hit add. Now it's just floating here in space. We'll go ahead and bring it down here and hold shift. That'll put it in between our media in and our media out. Now with the camera tracker selected, we can go ahead and hit one. So all the information for the camera tracker is now showing up here. From here, we can go over to our inspector and see what kind of settings we have for the camera track. I typically just leave this as is and we'll hit auto track. So Fusion has gone ahead and tracked specific high contrast points throughout the clip. Now we're going to go over to the camera tab and put in some information regarding our camera. This will help Fusion better understand the camera and better understand how to solve for the camera movement. This was shot in a 35 millimeter lens. So we'll just leave it at that. Next, once you get all your camera settings dialed in, we'll go over to solve and click solve. So now Fusion has accounted for the camera and has solved the camera movement. We'll go over to export and export all the data. Now, once you hit export, there's gonna be all these extra nodes that show up which are attached to your media in. Don't get overwhelmed by all of them. We're gonna go ahead and just grab them all and pull them over here a little bit. We actually don't need our camera tracker anymore, so go ahead and click it and hold shift to disconnect it from the thread. Click and drag a 3D text node onto our workspace. Let's go ahead and add some text. So now we have our 3D text over here, but it's not connected to anything in our workspace here. So we'll go ahead and grab this box and connect it up to our Merge 3D. Nothing is happening yet because all of our 3D track data plus our text is just kind of floating out here in space. It's not connected up to our media out. Anytime you're connecting a node up to another one, you just grab the box here. And for our media one, I can just hover over here and it'll automatically add a merge node. The alternative way to add a merge node is to hit shift spacebar, which will bring up our dialog box again. And you just type in merge, add a merge node, and then we can disconnect it going to the media out, reconnect it into merge, connect our merge up to the media out. Now we can grab our 3D text with all the tracking data and merge it above our media in. We don't need our ground plane because that's just creating a shape in here. So we'll go ahead and delete that. But from here, we can go into our 3D text. We can manipulate the size and where it sits in Z space to make it fit into our space here. So after a bit of tweaking, I got the text to a good size where it feels like it's got good perspective in the space. So I'm not quite fluent enough in Fusion to add shading and lighting to the text. So for right now, this is what we're working with, just a 2D text floating in space, but there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, and it just helps bring static text alive by putting it into the 3D space. For this next shot, we have a vertical shot of the hallway, but it's shot handheld. So let's open this up in Fusion and see how that works. For this shot, I'm gonna run through the exact same process as I did for the last one. Grab some 3D text, bring it into our scene, dump it into the merge 3D node. We'll delete our ground plane, then we'll go ahead and add our text back on top of our media in. Once again, after a little bit of tweaking on the position of the text, looks pretty good, even handheld. So that's all I've learned so far in Fusion is how to do basic 3D tracks like this. 
I hope this was helpful for you. I know I learned a few things while we're going through the process of making this video. So if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on another video I should do, drop it down in the comments below. So that's it for me. Once again, my name's Dominic, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on future content. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.